guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing two brand new products from Anastasia Beverly Hills. The first one is going to be the Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. And then the second is going to be the new highlighter in Iced Out. I'm really excited to try both of these items out, especially the Brow Freeze. I've never really used anything like this. So if you guys are wondering what my thoughts are on these new products from ABH, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, so I did zoom you guys in because I'm going to be doing a brow situation today. So I have both of the new ABH products. I have the Iced Out Highlighter and the Brow Freeze Styling Wax. I do not or nor have I ever used a brow soap or anything like that. I've used like a primer and I've used hair gel, but I've never actually used like anything like that. This is supposed to be better than the bar soap. And I know that that is like everybody's jam. So I'm excited to kind of see how this works, especially on different brow styles. I've seen a lot of people with the really full and sculptured brows use this. And I'm just like, <laughs> okay, but like, what about us girls who have like no brows or short sparse brows like how's that gonna work out so i've seen a lot of videos where they've used this and like i said this is the brow freeze styling wax the price will be right across the screen for you guys i've seen like how they use it how it's supposed to be used and all of that so i'm excited to try it out it definitely is like a pretty little package but it keeps getting fingerprints all over it i have touched it i have touched it so just letting you know okay and like i said i have touched it here but so it's it doesn't feel like it feels more wet than i feel like a, the bar of soap does at least any bar of soap i've ever felt it's definitely not as stiff but i think you have to wet those brushes your eyebrow brushes when you use the bar soap so it definitely has a more wet feel i'm excited but also it's kind of weird like it's such a weird feeling and i'll go ahead and show you right there it's literally so clear you can see the writing through the container so i'm going to show you guys the highlighter and then we'll get into the actual review of each product so this is the iced out highlighter i will go ahead and put the price across the screen it just comes in a very cute white packaging and i will tell you it does definitely remind me of the abh um resi which by the way is hands down my favorite highlighter from this company so i'm hoping that it's similar and i'm going to love her like so when i first saw this i was like oh white highlighter yeah i'm gonna pass like no one has time for gray cast but you can definitely i don't know if the camera's picking it up but you can definitely see a shift in gold it has like a gold and silver like cast to it so it definitely has some gold in there which makes me a little bit happy that it won't have such a gray cast on my skin so yeah it's definitely more gold when you swatch it out but in the pan it looks so white and when i saw it when they first like announced it i was like oh what white no 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 but it definitely doesn't look white when i swatch it so that's exciting i'm going to be using my abh 14 brush i also have a 12 which is the one i prefer to use when i'm applying the dip brow but the spoolies are the same so it was what it was when i grabbed it they say to apply it to clean brows so that's what we're gonna do also again i do do not have very full brows my brows are not even so this brow on this side has far less brow than this one does this one has a scar so this one is higher than this one and this one starts a lot like more in and I have a lot less hairs here so it's, I really don't know how this is gonna work out with the fact that I use the dip brow so I'm just going to roll it in here and just get a nice like coating onto the brush i don't believe i have to push very hard but i do want to get enough on there Ooh. so and then it says to stroke through the hair so i've seen a lot of them stroke them up but also like get the hairs wet with the wax this is like really sticking up the best thing i've ever tried is got to be glued on my brows because that will get your brows sticking straight up but it takes a while and then it takes a while for it to dry and i did see on instagram a girl that was trying it she said you have to work really fast because once it dries it's just kind of there so then i saw on abh's instagram to push them with the metal part of your brush 
that's really really feathered like they are really up if you look at the difference and how much this lifted it is definitely sticky I can feel it on my skin I'm gonna see if I can go in without dipping again because I got a lot on here again my eyebrows are not even it's just naturally how they are so if they if it doesn't look the same I wouldn't blame the product that's definitely just a my brow issue so if you see here like my hairs they're just so my eyebrows are so weird it just naturally this side is lower on my face so I'm gonna go in just a little bit more because this one kind of ran out towards the end here and I don't feel like it's sticking up as much and now we're just gonna press press I feel like ooh, see the pressing to me gives it more of like a clumpy look and I don't like that I think if you put too much it's gonna look ridiculous so just be mindful with how much you put on because I think I did too much over here so I'm gonna go in with a spoolie that has like no wax on it and clean that up a little so I can't get this side to stay up it gives it very like bushy feeling and that's just I feel like the bushy eyebrow thing is not my vibe I definitely prefer a more sleek look than a very feathered brow so this is going to be very different for me and maybe I'll like it down the road I don't know they do say that once it sets though it's not it's supposed to last like all day where you know how like sometimes your brow wax won't last that long and then you wind up having serious issues later on in the day where it kind of like wears off and your brows start to shift and act crazy but it's supposed to last all day all right so I'm gonna go in with some dip brow and just kind of fill in some little sparse areas because I can definitely see lots of sparse areas with my eyebrows feathered up like this. ABH definitely does make like my favorite eyebrow stuff. Like I use their stuff constantly, all of the time, literally daily. So I definitely have high hope for this product just because like they're the brow. They started the whole brow movement, you know what I mean? They, te they taught us how to place our brows properly. They gave us all these beautiful brow products. Did give them a second to dry just because I felt like they needed a, a second to dry before I just started putting stuff in here. But I feel like once it's dry, like now I'm having a hard Hard time getting like the product in there because it's so hard it's like crunchy I think that if you have super full brows this is going to be perfect I think you're going to wind up loving this because all you have to do is literally pop this on and it's gonna give you the most perfect like full fluffy brows in the whole wide world but I think that if you have sparse hairs like me, I don't know how this is gonna really work for us because it really looks like my brows are like this thick. And like, I know the point was to make them look full, but they look like, they look really thick. Up close, it doesn't look so bad and I feel like I could clean it up. I'm gonna clean it up, it's gonna look, it's gonna look better. But like, <laughs> from far away, it looks, so thick like I forgot to freaking pluck my eyebrows for six years what is happening I kind of feel like that's the best I'm gonna be able to do all right so I'm gonna try to clean it up with some concealer definitely feel like cleaning them up is a little bit easier because all the hairs are so lifted I like my regular ABH dip brow and my regular clear gel sometimes a color brow gel but I will say Again, to be fair, I do not usually do a more natural subtle brow. So this is definitely something out of my comfort zone. And I also have never done like a soap brow. So just keep that in mind when I tell you like my thoughts and opinions on it. Because that takes into account too. If this is something that you normally do, then I feel like that you would be fine. But if you don't normally do soap brows, then I don't know. I don't think this is gonna be your tea. All right guys, so we're gonna move on. I'm having a very rough time liking this product, liking my brows. They're not how I usually do it. And again, again, please, I understand. And I've said this multiple times because I don't want anyone in the comments saying, Mom, if you don't usually do your brows like that, you're not gonna like it. 
don't say that to me okay because I know I know I'm just testing a product here I feel like if I used that as a gel as like a, um, a gel at the end I think that I might like this product more I don't want big fluffy brows like this like I maybe I have to like get my eyebrows trimmed I don't know but they're so long and like let me know in the comments is it just me am I crazy do they look bigger than they are but they feel like they're this this thick on my face and if you guys have this and I'm using it wrong then you need to tell me Jamie you're using it wrong so I'm going in with the Zoeva cafe palette I got this a long time ago in a boxy charm and I never used her so we're gonna just go in and do like a quick little look so I think I'm gonna go in nuanced history oh that was a lot of fallout this color right here and I'm just going to place that. Oh, wow. It was a lot more pigmented than I had expected. I'm just doing a quick look because I obviously want to see how it looks with actual makeup on. Like, I don't want to just do the brows and then be like, oh my God, I hate it. I want to give it like a full chance. And I also want to give it time to see what happens. Does it start to loosen up? Does it stay stiff? It definitely feels like there's nothing there like it doesn't feel sticky like it did at first it definitely felt really sticky when I first put it on and I absolutely hated that but that's definitely gone down I think I'm gonna go in with this color right here I cannot pronounce it but it's like an army green oh it almost looks black <laughs> eh. today is not the day for Jamie and new things it almost looks black I don't know what I'm gonna do with this I know what I'm gonna do with this. It'll be fine. It definitely kind of comes off like black, which is so weird, or like a dark gray. It's not giving me any green vibes. So I'm gonna go back in with that mauve color and just blend this out. It's definitely a very uh, patchy palette. I'm in a rough day and my makeup, like there's nothing worse than I feel like having a bad day and then going to do makeup and it just not working out. Do you guys have this palette? This palette is not very good. So I'm going into No Added Spice, which is this like shiny bright green. And we're going to see how she plays out. Not a lot of fallout, so that's good. It's pretty green. Blending out pretty well. A lot better than that ugly color I just put on my eye did. All right, I like that. I think I'm going to go on the end, on the outer corners, and I'm going to place this dark green right here. So I like this darker color, and this one is not as patchy, but I believe it's supposed to be like a shimmer and it's not really shimmery at all. All right guys, so I'm gonna hop off camera now that I completed that eye look from what I'm, I don't like this palette. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm probably gonna give it to my daughters to play with. It just was not, mm -mm, I don't like it. The only part I liked was this and I kinda don't even like that. So I just, no, no, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So I'm gonna hop off camera. I'm going to put everything on but the highlighter and I'll be back so we can check out this new highlighter. I did my under eye as well as my lashes. I just added some of that green underneath. I didn't do an inner corner color though because I wanna try to use the iced out highlighter on my inner corners as well as my cheekbones. So this is the highlighter. We're gonna go in with my ABH brush and I'm just gonna do a light dusting. Oh, it is a little bit messy like the um, Resi one. Mm -hmm. It is definitely more gold than I expected it to be. So we're gonna go a little hip. Okay. <laughs> so it's definitely more gold than I expected, but it is like a very nice, like subtle, I feel like highlight. I feel like I could definitely go crazy if I wanted to with this highlighter. Like I'm gonna go crazy on my nose. Yeah, okay. So you can definitely go all in if you want to, or you can do like I did over here, just very light. Whenever I get a highlighter, if I can choose to either go real heavy or very like more natural and glowy, I like it because I mean, let's be honest, I'm going to choose the more glowy option, but I like to have the option of not having it super glowy. So it definitely looks like super silver, like in the photos and in this palette, it looks white. But guys, I'm telling you, look how, like, it's just so gold. Okay, this is, like, really pretty. This is really, really pretty. So I'm gonna try to see if I can build this highlighter up just a little bit on my cheeks, just to have a little fun. So I'm going in real crazy with the highlighter. Oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. So if you wanted to, you could, like, completely shine from the moon with this highlighter. Oh, my 
think I may have gone a little too far with the highlighter and I usually don't say that, but I, th I think I may have gone just a tad too far. We're gonna just boop, 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 boop. It is a very yellow cast. So if you're thinking that this is gonna be like super silver, super white, it isn't. It is definitely more yellow undertone. It's definitely going to be a nice color for medium to darker skin tones. The last thing I'm gonna pop on is new to me, but not new to ABH. It is the Dewy Set Setting Spray. This came out a long time ago and I didn't buy it just because it was little, but Laura Lee did a declutter and she said that this was like the best setting spray ever. So I wanted to give it a try. It smells nice. It definitely gives me um, like MAC vibes. <laughs> I got it in my mouth. It doesn't taste bad either, but oh God, it like really soaked my whole face, huh? So my final thoughts on these items. I love, love, love the highlighter. I thought I was actually going to hate this the most and it turned out to be the item that I actually loved the most. I think it is such a beautiful color. It is gonna go so nicely on a lot of people's skin tones. I think it's gonna be a beautiful color for the summer and it's definitely like a color I feel like I could wear without makeup because it isn't super heavy. I can definitely build it up. The Amrezi one, the only thing that I had against that one was it is extremely, extremely bright. Like there is no kind of light. Like this is a highlighter that if you want full glam beat highlighter from the moon, this is your gal. But I like this in a sense that you can get that super blingy highlight, but it's also something that I can build up. So if I want a lighter coverage, I can have a lighter coverage. They both seem very similar in the, um, the like formula. So it's just so strange. So here is the Amrezi one. Here is the new iced out. So it looks white compared to that. But if I just swatch them. So this one is more of a champagne gold. This is the Amrezi. And this is more of a true gold, like a yellow gold. So there's more of a paleness to this one. But I did really, really love this highlighter. And I'm glad because I was like, oh, I'm going to be so upset if I use this highlighter and I absolutely hate it. And it leaves like a white cast on my face, but it didn't. It's so golden and it's so pretty. Moving on to the brow freeze. I feel like, and I hate to say this out of my mouth because I love ABH brow products. I don't think that this product is all that. Uh, I'm going to keep trying to use it. So if I use this wrong or I did this wrong, let me know down below. Like I love constructive criticism, especially if I used a product wrong. I just feel like I did what all of the videos showed me to do. And this brow just like, it's still there go. See, this is my natural hair right here. It's still not staying up. And this is supposed to be like an all day thing. But look, like, I don't know if it's cause I added product over it. Am I not supposed to do that? But either way, this is not staying up like at all. This one did pretty okay. But again, this is a more full brow. I just think they're too thick. They're too bushy. Again, please take it with a grain of salt how I feel about this product because I do not use soap for my brows. I don't do the soap brow look or trend. So if that makes a difference in your opinion, so be it, just make sure that you keep that in mind. However, I don't know what happened here. Like this brow completely just, it, it's gone. Like it's so soft. These are no longer sticky. I don't know if it's because I put way too much product on there. I don't know what happened, but either way, it, that just didn't work out for me. I didn't like it. I'm going to keep trying. And again, please, 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 please let me know down below if I did it wrong or if there's something that you recommend that I try instead, oh, like a technique instead to make it work better. But I just feel like, feel like it's not my journey. <laughs> But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I do five videos a week and one blooper video every Saturday. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.